Adios mio. Warning, competitive eating is a risky activity that can cause injury or death to an untrained individual. Do not try what you see in this video at home. You're watching the Titanium Jar. Hope you're having a fantastical Cinco de Mayo. Today, I am at Burrito Bay, just outside of Buffalo, New York, to take on their glutton challenge. Any restaurant that has a challenge named after one of the seven deadly sins has to be a good one. Stay tuned until the end of the video to see if I can take down two massive three pound burritos. I am at Burrito Bay, home of the Glutton, and for my sequel to Mile special, I'm going to be taking on their Glutton Challenge, which is two of their Glutton burritos that must be eaten within 30 minutes. The burrito weighs anywhere from three to three and a half pounds, and I have to eat two of them in 30 minutes to complete the challenge. And if I do, they're going to give me a t-shirt, and I'm going to take my photo, and they're going to post it on their website or on their social media, one or the other. Here's the rules. Number one, you must eat two full gluttons in under 30 minutes. Two, it must be witnessed by a Burrito Bay manager. Three, gluttons must consist of at least one type of beans, rice, meat, cheese, salsa, and at least three types of vegetables. Four, you cannot have any help in your endeavor. No cheating. Five, if you succeed, you will receive a free Burrito Bay t-shirt and your picture on the Burrito Bay website. Looking forward to that. Now for my choice of beans, I went with black beans, and I went with ground beef for my meat, and for my vegetables, I went with lettuce, tomato, and olives. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of olives, but I preferred them over peppers, which is the other option for a vegetable they had, so I'll settle with olives, and both glutton burritos are going to have the same ingredients. Now, if I complete the challenge, I'm going to reward myself with one of their desserts, probably a brownie or maybe their churro bites. I'll reward myself with something. But if I fail this challenge, I have to chug a bottle of hot sauce. I feel pretty good. I think I can devour both of those burritos. I'm no stranger to burrito challenges. I did a burrito eating contest with Basket Locker Ball back in um, 2022, I think. Yeah, it was, I think it was early 2022. And um, he and I went to neck and neck on a five pound burrito. I think I devoured that one in like five minutes. Not gonna underestimate this challenge. Who knows how I'm gonna feel? You know, 30 minutes isn't exactly a lot of time to get six, seven pounds worth of food down. Adios mio. Okay. So, these are the gluttons. I got two of them here now. Let me just show you just how big this is. This thing is about, it's taller than my head. They also gave us some, uh, they gave us some after dinner mints, which is nice. I'm gonna start by unwrapping them and then we're gonna get started. Sheesh. These burritos might be bigger than the one I ate at Patriot's Place last year, which is ironic because that burrito was five pounds and each of these are about three pounds. <laughs> I should also mention, this is a pay-to-play challenge, so if you beat the challenge, the meal is not free, but they'll still give you a t-shirt and they'll take your photo if you beat it. All right, 30 minutes with the Brio Bay managers as my witness. It's time to get this challenge started. This is the Titanium Jaw versus Burrito Bay's Glutton Challenge. Vamos comigos! Three, two, one, go! This is really delicious. The meat's nice and juicy. This first one's starting to fall apart a bit, but good thing I grabbed it 
for just in case. Do you know what the record is for this challenge? I think it's like 2 minutes 30 something seconds. 2 minutes yeah. 30 seconds? Yeah. For both of them? Until the hot dogs came in and did it. Joey Chestnut? I don't remember his name, I'm sorry, but it's on his channel or whatever <laughs> years ago. And it's on our website, I believe. You can find I'll find it. I'll find out who ate both these in two minutes thirty seconds. I, I've already no way of beating that record right now. I should have grabbed some napkins, but oh well. Can you just leave a few right here? I can't. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Am I blocking the... Um, I just need a few napkins. It's all right. Okay, all right. That was nice. One of the customers just left me, I think, of napkins on my table. All right, one glutton is down in six minutes and 50 seconds. Just grab some napkins and I'll work on the second one. This actually is blocked. Clutton number two, going down. There's a lot of food, but man, is it good. So we're gonna get it done. It's so juicy. The juice is dripping from the other end. to get the uh, final say oh. it's whether this counts. Mm. Oh yeah, that counts. We good? Yep. Good job. Amazing. Uh. <sighs> Four minutes and 40 seconds to spare. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 25, 20, and 99 milliseconds was my final time. Woo! That one's done. That one's done. I will say this was tough. It was a tough challenge. I, um, but hey, I didn't underestimate it. I knew what I was uh, getting into. I knew it was gonna be tough, and uh, man, I got it done with just minutes to spare. I thought everything on these burritos were excellent. The beef was really good, really juicy. The juice was dripping out from the other end. No, I think black beans are probably my favorite beans. I could've gone with pinto beans, but um, all in all, I'm not sure if there was really one good strategy I could've gone with. I think the strategy was just go to town on the burritos and try to get them down as fast as possible, and that's what I did. The remains of my enemy. Can I take your picture for our website? Oh, absolutely. 
We have a sombrero on the back if you would like to wear it in costume. <laughs> a sombrero. Some people do, some people don't. Some people hold the shirt up like they, you know. Let's bring out the sombrero. Whatever you want to do. Let's bring out the sombrero. Okay. Let me show you the t shirt. It says a burrito bar on it. <clears throat> Got a guy with a sombrero eating one of the. Uh, <laughs> One of the gluttons. Home of the glutton. Awesome. I'm gonna get one of your brownies to go. Yeah. You can have it. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> it's not every day that somebody does it. I have a lot of people that try, not a lot of people succeed. Mm -hmm. so, I appreciate it, but yeah. uh, thank you so much for uh, excellent service. Big thank you to Jen, the manager there, for having me come in. I now have this many wins and losses to my food challenge record. I grabbed a brownie for my reward. I'll eat it once I'm not super stuffed. <laughs> it's funny, I said, I'm gonna take a brownie to go. I'll pay for it, and she was like, nah, you can have it. Like, I wanna support a local restaurant, and you're just gonna give me the dessert for free? <laughs> Uh, but uh, I left them a $30 tip. They were excellent, so uh, thank you to Burrito Bay. If you're ever in the Buffalo area, come check out the Buffalo, I mean, pfft, come check out Burrito Bay. <laughs> they got some pretty good burritos and some awesome Mexican food. So that's gonna do it for my Cinco de Mayo special. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy my content, make sure you like and subscribe. Smash that like button to be notified of all future uploads. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. The links are in the description below. And I'll see you for my next food challenge next Friday. Take care, have an awesome Cinco de Mayo, and don't forget to eat like a beast.